multi physics have you uh, designed any structure i think some of you have shared the uh, link how to download the commercial multi physics in that group anybody of you have downloaded the commercial multi physics software you can unmute yourself and you can give the reply Anybody else expect Puneet? Puneet, have you tried any uh, means structure using commercial multi physics? Uh, what you have designed? Uh, what have you designed? Okay, okay. See, whenever you are you are designing a particular structure using uh, commercial multiphysics software, see, uh, just note down the steps. What are the steps you need to follow? First of all, you, you have to in commercial multiphysics. I'll show you again. My screen is, vi is visible to you. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. It will take little bit of time because this is a heavy software. So wait. You have to click on this one model wizard after clicking on this one uh, it will ask you on which di space dimension you want to design your uh, structure suppose it is 3d then you have to see se select 3d if it is uh, some uh, it is another option is that 2d axisymmetric it is uh, used why because on that day also sarah told that whenever you are designing a particular structure using 3d space dimension then whenever you are you will draw that structure in in your laptop and what will happen it will get a uh, hit okay so your there probability that your laptop may be damaged okay so to uh, protect that one from you uh, to protect that uh, same thing where you you are designing the uh, structure in uh, in 2d axis symmetric in instead of 3d x uh, 3d so later on we can design 2d and 1d like that we can design there these are the different space dimensions available on which you can design your own structure so suppose i am selecting 2d then we have to see these are the various modules on which you can work on that day also i have told you you can design your structure if you are working in acdc then you can if you are electrical student then you can design your structure using module then acoustics module if you are chemical engineer then you can uh, design using chemical uh, this module uh, electrochemistry module fluid flow module like that if you uh, by this physics depends upon which application you are requiring if you require any one of this application then you can design your structure from this uh, available set of physics then suppose um, as we are in a, um we want to design our structure using radio frequency model or uh, this is generally a uh, or uh, known as rf module okay so we have to select this rf module out of rf model we need to select we have to observe the frequency response of a particular structure so we have to use this particular physics that is electromagnetic waves frequency domain you have to click on this one then you have to add this one then you have to click on study after clicking on study then it will uh, ask you some parameters on what are the parameters you want to study for your particular physics suppose you I, I i am interested to study the frequency domain then i have to click on frequency domain see these are the various uh these are the statements written you have to read it very properly so that you can understand what is what is the means what we are doing or what is the uh, commercial multi physics doing using this particular uh, study all of you have the commercial multi physics software right now a trial version software yes sir okay so uh, see after whenever uh, physics selection is done then this type of window will come where 
you can design your own structure this is the uh, this is the graphics window where you can design your own structure suppose these are the length unit available where you can design, choose your length means uh, suppose you are designing your structure in terms of micrometer then you have to select a micrometer if your uh, uh, structure is in terms of nanometer then you have to select the uh, structure uh, unit as nanometer whatever the uh, means uh, uh whatever the dimension of your structure you have to select that uh, dimension okay after selecting the dimension suppose i am selecting nanometer then you have to click on build all then whenever you are designing a particular structure there are few steps you need to remember first of all you need to design the uh, geometry of that structure so for that we need to click on geometry okay after that geometry there are various options available you can see circle ellipse rectangle point polygon square so these are uh, these uh, particular structures have different different applications okay suppose i am uh, designing a rectangular shape okay then whenever you are designing a rectangular structure then we know that a rectangular structure has two parameters one is length another is breadth so it will ask you what is the width of the rectangle your rectangle and what is the height of your rectangle so you have to mention your rectangle height and width suppose i am mentioning this is the arbitrary structure i am designing okay whatever the structure i have shown you on that day that is final this is just an arbitrary structure again i am showing you to be familiar with the commercial multiphysics software okay suppose width is 10 nanometer height is 10 nanometer okay so click on build objects so this type of structure will come then here you can vary the parameters also okay okay after designing the uh, structure once you have uh, means your geometry part is over next to that see whenever one uh, you have designed the geometry part next part is your you have to assign the materials to your particular geometry suppose see this is uh, this geometry uh, this uh, suppose i'll add one more rectangle let's see 